This video recording is about Chapter 8, Environmental Health. I'll be reading a passage and then there will be five short answer or long answer questions that follow. Fishing for answers, how to eat for a better environment. We all know that fish is good for us. It has less fat than beef and contains important nutrients such as heart protecting omega-3 fatty acids. But is eating fish ecologically correct? Do we feel good about eating an endangered or overfished species such as Chilean sea bass? Non-sustainable aquaculture often involves harming sea life or habitat in the process of fishing for the target product, for example, injuring dolphins while fishing for tuna. Sustainable eating, eating so that people in the future can enjoy the same species that we eat today, can be a challenge, especially when it comes to fish. What's a diner to do? Luckily, the internet abounds with resources. The Monterey Bay Aquarium website, for example, publishes Seafood Watch, a downloadable pocket-sized guide to selecting ecologically responsible seafood that you can take to the supermarket or to a restaurant when you dine out. And speaking of dining out, the Seafood Choices Alliance website publishes a regularly updated list of restaurants that feature sustainable seafood. Demanding seafood from sustainable sources works, according to a recent poll taken by the Monterey Bay Aquarium Seafood Watch program, 50% of restaurants surveyed in the Monterey, California area change their menus as a result of consumer pressure. Question number one. According to the passage, what are some of the benefits of eating fish? Number two. What are some of the disadvantages of eating fish according to the passage? Number three. What is non-sustainable aquaculture? Number four. What is sustainable eating? Number five. What are some solutions to the challenge of eating ecologically responsible seafood? Thanks guys.